It's hump day, hump time, hump, hump day, hump time, hump day, hump time, hump, hump day, hump time. Hey, everybody. I hope you are having a great new year. Happy new year. This is my first uh, hump day in the new year. And I told y'all last week that I was going to explain to you. And I, I like to do that ever so often for the new people who are joining and watching. But I started doing these hump day hymns in 2019 in October. Um, we were having a prayer meeting in the back of a Mexican restaurant. And what we were we were doing was we were meeting with a few people. We were trying to decide if the future of our ministry and what we were going to do, if we were going to plan a church or not. And so we had just finished having communion. And one of the sweet dear ladies in our church uh, asked if we could sing Because He Lives. And so we started singing Because He Lives. And I look across the table at my then 15-year-old son, and he's just giving me this look like, and I'm like, are you kidding me? You don't know because he lives? Why don't you know because he lives? So I started doing this hump day hymn. It just came to me after that. I'm like, I'm going to start doing a hymn every week. And I'm going to start doing it on Wednesday and call it the hump day hymn. And so that's why I started doing these. And um, so, and and after I first started, I really didn't think it was going to last that long. But I started getting texts and emails and messages of my friends watching it with their kids and watching it with their grandchildren. And that they were making it a thing on Wednesdays to watch the Hump Day Hymn, which is why I started it. So I even had one of my friends, she texted me and she said, my son calls you the Hump Day Hymn Lady. So of course, I loved that. And now that's my little signature as I sign off. But um, this hymn is uh, I, I read it on a friend of mine, Bob Hoskins' page yesterday, and I even told him, I said, I'm going to have to do this tomorrow as my hump day hymn. But he gave the story of a pastor during the diphtheria epidemic of the 1900s. Um, after having lost two infant nieces, his brother's family was in quarantine. And as they fought this epidemic, he wrote this song and he sent it over on Saturday night to the choir rehearsal and they were moved so much by it that they went to his brother's house and stood outside and sang it for him and his family as they were in quarantine. And so may this song today strengthen us during this COVID epidemic that we're in right now. Um, may this prayer, uh, may this be, this hymn be our prayer today. All right, let's sing it together. There is a place of quiet rest near to the heart of God. A place where sin cannot molest near to the heart of God. Oh, Jesus, blessed Redeemer, sent from the heart of God. Hold us who wait before thee, near to the heart of God. There is a place of comfort sweet, near to the heart of God. A place where we are safe, your meat, near to the heart of God. Oh, Jesus, blessed Redeemer, sent from the heart of God, hold us who wait before Thee, near to the heart of God. There is a place of full relief near to the heart of God, a place where all is joy and peace, near to the heart of God. Oh, Jesus, blessed Redeemer, sent from the heart of God, hold up who wait before thee, near to the heart of God. Well, I hope that that's your prayer for this new year, is that you will draw near to the heart of God, because that is where you will find joy, you will find peace. Y'all be blessed today on Hump Day, this first hump day in the new year. Here's your Hump Day hymn lady, signing out.